Video game software usually gets all the glory with virtual reality and augmented reality leading the way. But what about the hardware? For the longest time, game controllers were designed for people with two hands and two feet. But in 2018, Microsoft started changing the narrative with its adaptive controllers for Xbox, which started a gaming revolution for people with disabilities. Tonight, you're going to meet two people who are on the front lines of that revolution. Check this out. Well, I always wanted to be in the military. Ah. Monty Bernardo oh, now we're screwed. is an avid gamer. It's always been one of his escapes from reality. But Monty's reality drastically changed on the front lines of Afghanistan as a cavalry scout. It was 4th of July 2012, and I found a 10-pound jug of homemade explosives with my right foot. <laughs> I remember thinking, like, what was that? What was that? And then I hit the ground 25 feet away, blew in on, on this shoulder, and I was like, I just blew up. And I tried to stand up, and I couldn't stand up. His buddy ran up to him, and in that moment, Monty knew. I could see on his face something was really messed up, and I was like, hey, man, are my legs gone? And he said, yeah, your legs are gone, and he started putting tourniquets on. Then the most bizarre thought raced through his head as he was bleeding on the sand. Gaming has always been a big part of my life. I remember I looked at my left hand, and half of it was gone, and I remember thinking, how am I going to be able to play video games? The last thing he remembers was the military hospital in Kandahar when the pain kicked in. And I remember seeing a doctor and I grabbed the doctor and I was like, doctor, this, this hurts, like put me out. And it was like somebody turned off the TV. He was medevaced to the hospital at Walter Reed up in DC. There was like a day or two where I was like, like, Half my body's gone, like, what am I going to do with my life? What am I going to do with myself? Then Monty met occupational therapist Eric Johnson. He said, Eric, give me life. Show me, convince me that I still have the ability to do. He had a personality that clicked with mine, and, you know, we had a lot of things in common. The therapy, learning to walk again, and using his new hand, wasn't easy. It was annoying as hell, honestly. We're going to hit the ground running. I may have used a couple of cuss words to reel him in. I knew Monty was a gamer from the get-go, and I knew that he was disappointed about losing that gaming uh, initially. Then Eric made Monty a bold promise. Oh, I'm going to blow your mind. Uh, you're going to game, and it's going to be effective. Eric is also the chief medical officer for Warfighter Engaged. Before I had even healed, he had sensors taped on my arm, and it was teaching me to you know, flex my muscles to control it. Warfighter Engaged mission is to provide enabling solutions and independence for wounded and severely wounded warfighters. So Eric's team started breaking down and rebuilding game controllers. We have simulators here. He's got every controller and game system you could imagine. So Eric didn't focus on Monty's disability. Instead, he focused on the possibility. He's got two legs that move. He's got a left residual limb that's at the wrist, so I can use that. I can use his right hand, I can use his head, I can use anything. Monty <laughs> was back in the game. And Eric's real life experiences with Warfighter Engaged. Make this a uh, little bit rounder, flatten this side, make sure you have sticky things on the bottom. Led to a relationship with Microsoft and limitless possibilities. So this is the Xbox Adaptive Controller. And that's where all these buttons and switches come in. It's got 19 inputs here that each control a certain function. From running to shooting to building, these inputs can be modified to do almost anything. It's just amazing to, to have that potential in a small box. It's huge for that 1% that can't game traditionally. Monty says it was life changing. By giving me video games back, that was something that I loved in the first place. It was like decompressed time for me. It helped me quite a bit. Every single person that has a disability can still play. I can do everything you can do. People get mad at me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could see a picture of me. I'm missing three limbs and I'm kicking your ass. <laughs> Walt Makaborski, CBS Austin News.